Hello. Welcome back to a new video. You're probably here because you're interested about anime. Well, that's why I'm here to introduce you, new weebs, to the best anime guide there'll ever be. And starting with animes to help you get started. Now, whether you're here to relate to other fellow weebs, speak random words in Japanese, make anime memes, or to even just check out what the hype is about, well, let me welcome you to the weeb life. Now, you don't have to watch a million animes to become a weeb. If you share an interest in anime and have even watched at least one anime in your lifetime, consider yourself a weeb. Once you fall further into the weird hole of anime, consider yourself a weeaboo. But before we call each other names, we have to get some experience. You know, the ugly E word that every job hiring asks for, but you just graduated college, you know, that kind of experience. So you're some weird normie trying to build up your anime resume, wondering how to get started, but you don't know where to start. Here's something we're going to call the Shonen Starter Pack. Shonen is an action-packed anime where some kid wants to be the best, but he actually sucks. And it's filled with hundreds of episodes where you have to get through at least 25 episodes of just filler to get to the actual action. If you enjoy a lot of running, yelling, uh, more running, Yelling and more running, and you guessed it, a lot more yelling. Well, this genre is exactly for you. If you haven't watched anything in this category, I say watch them all. And no, I'm not saying you have to watch every single episode, just watch a couple and see how you feel. Now, I recommend you watch a couple episodes of each major series such as Dragon Ball, Naruto, One Piece, My Hero, Hunter x Hunter, you know, the mainstream. Now, if you get sucked into one of them, by all means, keep on going. There are many sites online that will help you skip all of the fillers and make the series even shorter and probably even better, which will come in handy to help you better understand the Weave Society. Have you heard of Darling in the Franks? It's a pretty controversial series where some people like it and, well, a lot of people hate it. If you happen to dabble upon it, my advice to you is to watch from episodes 1 to 15. Seriously, stop at 15. That's the end of Franks. But if you're a new weeb, I say at least give Darling and Franks a try again up till episode 15. Now the anime that I'm going to recommend next are in my opinion the shonen bangers. Remember how I said shonen is a bunch of yelling and running? Well these are still filled with running and yelling but more condensed with a lot less fillers. Let's start off with Haikyuu. Haikyuu is a sports anime with minimum fillers and filled with a lot of action. If you need something to get you hyped Haikyuu is the anime for you. This series starts with a small kid named Hinata Shoyo. And let me tell you, this kid loves volleyball. Literally. Even the manga calls him insane. Throughout the entire series, Hinata is looked down upon because of his lack of height. As you all know, every athlete needs to be at least 6 foot 14 inches to at least be considered decent. But as you continue to watch, Hinata shows off his physical prowess and continues to prove to everyone that even us short people can compete with the best of them. Next up is Attack on Titan. This anime has a special place in my heart. For me, this is what a star anime for me. Even though I grew up with Dragon Ball, Attack on Titan, like many, got me started on binging almost every anime that I could find. With so many epic moments and the amazing art and animations, Attack on Titan is literally, as they call it, humanity's worst fear. If you enjoy action and mystery and a little bit of romance, this series is just for you. After facing the tragedy of the Titans that humanity has feared for so long, Eren 
and the lovely, lovely, I repeat, lovely, Mikasa and their friend Armin, along with the rest of their friends, join the scout regiment and seek revenge against these titans. What comes after all that? You're just gonna have to watch and figure it out for yourself. And I think now is the perfect time in quarantine to catch up until season five comes out very soon. Up next is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. This anime is one of my all time favorite with no fillers at all. There's two versions of this anime. There's the old school version from 2003 and the other one from 2009. I recommend the most recent one the one with the word brotherhood in it. Now, just like Haikyuu, the MC is, in fact, short. But being short is one of the least of his problems. During the whole series, two brothers, one being a tin can, go on trying to get their original bodies back after a failed transmutation. And trust me, every episode has some meaning leading it to the next episode. And if you know anime, a lot of these anime endings can go horribly wrong. But I could happily say Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood has one of the most satisfying endings in anime history. On top of that, since this is in an English setting, the dub isn't too bad. Even though we all prefer subbed over dub, well most of us, at least this one, we can watch it dub without complaining too much. And yes, sub over dubbed. You freaks. I'm actually his younger brother, Alphonse. What? You're the full metal alchemist? Sorry, I had no idea you'd be so- Go on, say little. I dare you. And last but not least, Demon Slayer. With one of the most innocent and cute MCs, Tanjiro and best girl Nezuko, Demon Slayer is one of the best animes to come out in recent years. In a short summary, hopefully good, boy comes home to a family being eaten by a demon, one of his siblings is still alive, sister turns demon, mysterious man tries to kill sister, sister protects brother, mysterious man is shook, tells boy to go to a random old guy, old guy teaches him how to breathe, and brother sister complex become a badass duo. Basically. And if that doesn't convince you, well then your personality is boring. I'm sorry. And if you start off with all these, and it turns out you like them, then this is the start of something Brand new. Probably bad, but overall worth it. As you dive deeper into the dark, deep hole of anime, expect more fancers to come and hit you. In the face. Literally, you're gonna start thinking if it's a good idea to watch some of these animes in public. Besides shonen, there's a lot more genres you'll run into and eventually you'll learn terms. You've never heard before such as Isekai, Harem, Yuri, etc. But that's for another time. If you enjoyed this video and if it helped you in somewhat to where to begin, I recommend that you start with Shonen. Shonen is a very good genre to help you get started in anime. So. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you in the tiny bit, then please like and subscribe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to end this video. How do you end this video? Is that it? Um, but yeah, 
If you like this video and it helped you in the least bit and you like Shonen and you want more of this because I want to make this a series because I love anime and anime loves me and I want more body pillows or at least one. Please like and subscribe. I don't know how to end this video. Bye.